Hello everyone, today I will be going to teach you about how to configure the FTP and DNS server in Cisco Packet Tracer, which is used in sending or transferring the message or email from one PC to another PC using the SMTP protocol. Here SMTP protocol stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So now I'm going to start the video by showing you how to make a FTP server and a DNS server. So first of all, you need to take care two PCs. You can take more than two PCs as well, depending upon the username. Now they have, I have taken here two PCs. Now they will be two server as well. So one will be our FTP server and another will be our DNS server. Or you can write here, this is my server. And this is four components with this switch. You have to take the switch here 295024, place it in the middle. Now connect this all these four components with the copper straight through wire. Press control and select this copper straight through wire so, you to, so that you don't need to keep on selecting the wire again and again. You can select any Ethernet port of switch doesn't matter because all the ethernet port of switch work the same functioning because switch has 24 ports and hub has only six ports now after doing this step now we have to assign the ip address to both the pcs so click on this pc go to desktop ip configuration and assign the ip address you can assign it in the class A, B, C address. I am going to assign it a class C address, which is 192.168. And what one? Copy this so that you can paste it in from the PC. So then it's a class C address of minimus 6310255.0. So it is a part of a network. So we have to provide a default gateway as well. So the default gateway will be 192.168.10.10. Close this. Do a similar step with another PC. Go to desktop, IP configuration, and go to, we, we only need to change the last bit which is our host bit. So it is also class C8 as a mask will be this. Now it is a part of a network as well. So default it will be 10.10. .10. Close this. Now we have to provide an individual IP for address to both the server which is FTP server and DNS server. So click on this FTP server, go to desktop, IP configuration and write the IP for address for this particular FTP server. So I'm going to write here 192.168.10.100. It is also class C8 and subnet mask will be 3 times 255.0 and the default gateway here will be 192.168.10.10 because it is a part of that network 10.10. .10. Close this. Now we have to provide the IP for address to this DNS server as well. So click on this DNS server, go to desktop, IP configuration, IP for address. I am going to write here 192.168.10.200. So it is also a class C address. It is also this is also the part of a network. So the following it will 192.168.10.10. The DNS server, we have to write here the DNS server as well. Look, the DNS server is same as the IP for address of this uh, second server. So it is same as this IP for address, which is our 192.168.10.200. Copy this DNS server and paste it in the FTP server IP configuration here DNS server. Control V. Close this. After doing this much step, now remember how many PC you have connected here. I have chosen here two PCs, so we have to provide a username as well. Before doing that, remember the IPs we have assigned to this FTP server. We have assigned the IP to this FTP server as 192.168.10.100. Remember this. I provided this F uh, IP to this FTP server, and this is my network. This is my network one. 
Now go to this FTP server. Go to services. Now go select here FTP. Make sure the FTP is on. Look now how many PCs are present here. Here are two PCs. The username will also be two. I am going to write the name of this PC as ABC1 password as 123 where I have to click on every properties of functionality so that this PC can access it can write, write read, delete, rename and list and add it. Now we have to give to the second PC as well so I am giving the username as ABC2 password as 123 write read delete rename list and add after doing this much step close this now go to, uh, i will write here is this is my abc1 this is my abc1 and this is abc2 remember which username you have given to which pc so this is my abc2 username pc and this is my abc1 user now go to this pc0 Go to this command prompt and write the command as I'm writing here dir let's enter capsule lock on FTP and write the IP v4 address which we have given in this FTP server which was 192.168.10.100 press enter now we have selected the abc1 username the username will be abc1 press enter the password we have given is 123 press enter now it is logged in now right here quit press enter close this tab now we have to create a file so for creating a file we have to click on the similar same pc right here click on this text editor now we have to create a file so i'm creating a file as hello everyone subscribe to learn with Mukul now look here it is not present the save option so that we can save this file for doing that press on click on this cross button a dialog box will appear which will ask to save this changes to the file so click on save now it is asked to us to enter the new file name so I am going to write the file name as YouTube, not this is a file, so it has accepted.txt. You don't need to write here txt to automatically come, only you need to write the file name. Click OK. Now come back again to the command prompt. I'm doing all this command in the same single PC only. Go to command prompt. Now we have to rewrite the command which is dir ftp. Here ftp is in capsule lock, capital letters write the IP for address 192.168.10.100 press enter now it is the same abc username so abc1 because it is abc1 username pc password is 123 press enter ftp now we have to upload the file so the command is put the file name which is youtube dot txt you need to add the extension as well you can the extreme press enter you will see the file file is being uploaded now to get it the command is gt get and the file name youtube dot txt now this is the part of getting the file and uploading the file close this part now we have done all the steps in this pc close this now go back to this FTP server, go to this email, now we have to write our uh, extension part of the email address. So the domain name I am giving it as uh, uh, xyz.com and how many users are present here. So there are two usernames present here, abc1 and abc2, so I am write here abc1. Password ABC1 is 123. Add it. Let's go to second username ABC2. Username as uh, password is 123. Add and don't forget to set this domain name. Set it. 
make sure this email SMTP is on. This is the main part. Now close this. Now a uh, one thing that, that you need to do on the DNS server is click on this DNS server. Go to services, DNS. Make sure your DNS here is on, and write the same name that you have given in the email part of FTP, which is xyz.com and the address the address you will write in here the FTP server IPv4 address which is 192.168.10.100 and add this after doing this much step now we have to provide the email address to this individual IPs now we have done all the steps FTP to the FTP in DNS server now going back to the PC this is my ABC1 using in PC and this is my ABC2 using in PC now click on this ABC1 now we have to provide configure the email so click on this desktop now click on this email now it is asked to us to create an email so using and this is ABC1 so its name is ABC1 email address is your name ABC1 at the rate and the extensions which we have given as domain so it is xyz.com and the email server will be only xyz.com because the domain name is set to be similar to the incoming and outgoing xyz.com and similar xyz.com username is abc1 and password is 123 save this now we have to create the another email for this second PC which is ABC2 go to this email write here ABC2 because this is our second ABC2 username email address is ABC2 at the rate XYZ .com. email server is XYZ .com. how do email server XYZ .com. username abc2 password 123 save this all the steps are now now it's the time to send the message from send the email from one pc to another pc that is send the email from abc1 to abc2 so click on this abc1 go to email we have configured it now click on this compose now to whom i want to send the message I want to send this message to ABC, ABC2 so I need to write here the email address of this ABC2 which I have provided as abc2 at the rate xyz.com so that I am writing here as hello and I am writing it as learn learn with Mukul I am sending it close this now we have sent the message from abc1 to abc2 so this is our receiver address this is our sender address so this is our being receiver address so click on this pc1 go to email and click on this receive you will see the message has been received the email has been received so click on this you will see learn with mukul this is how we configure the ftp and dns server using the smtp protocol to send the email address on one pc to another pc i hope you liked my video if you like it then please share and subscribe thank you